All right, so you guys saw my last video. I'm not sure if I'll post them in order, but I've been wearing the same look because I'm filming them back to back because I'm about to go on vacation, so that's why I'm wearing the exact same thing. But today I'm just filming my Instagram questions video. You guys sent these for my giveaway competition and I'm just answering the questions that you guys sent me. So let's just go ahead and get into the video because there's a few of them. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna be reading them off my phone. Um, wow, well, why am I like, I'm just sit on my foot, I'm so short. Okay, <clears throat> so first question. What is my dream job and where would I like to be in five years? I love your channel so much and you're so talented. Thank you. Um, gosh, my dream job, I have like two kind of. Three. So, <laughs> ideally by the time I graduate, was in it, which is in. <laughs> ideally by the time I graduate, um, I'd like to be making at least enough money off YouTube to cover my rent wherever I go. I'm trying to go to the East Coast just because that's where most of the job opportunities for fashion are. New York would be ideal, but um, we'll see if that happens. <laughs> it depends how much I'm making off YouTube because and how good a job I get. But the jobs that I wanna get is either in trend forecasting and what I'm in school for is fashion merchandising, which is like fashion buying. So I'd be picking the clothes that are gonna go be in Target for the fall season and buying those. It's kind of a combination of the two, but that's my dream job. Where would I like to be in five years? How old will I be? 26. Oh, gee, that's weird to think about. I'll be 26. Uh, I don't know. I definitely want to be making enough money, and I definitely want to have a dog, and I would like to be in my ideal living situation. Hopefully, me and my boyfriend will still be together. I'm sure we will. Uh, <laughs> yes, probably. I don't know. Ah, what else do I want? That's really it. I'd be happy with that. <laughs> okay, moving on. Hey Daisy, my question for the giveaway is what is my major at SCAD? I'm a fashion merchandising major at college in Mississippi. Well, I just answered that. Fashion merchandising is my major and I have a minor in fashion design though. So yeah. <laughs> my question is who inspires your fashion the most and where do you get your clothes from? I love your style thing. I love your style so much. Thank you. Uh, hmm. I would have to say my biggest style inspiration is Friends. I know it sounds goofy, but I just grew up watching Friends with my mom and Monica and Rachel's style is just like, that's always what I'm trying to look like in my head. I copy their outfits all the time. I think they're so cute. I'm like super into like the 90s all American look, you know, like Gap, Tommy Hilfiger and all that stuff. So I definitely get a lot of inspiration from them. And because of that, I shop at thrift stores all the time because I'm always looking for that older vintage look. But now that it's coming into fashion, um, it's a lot easier to find it at normal stores too. So I would say three fourths of my closet is thrifted and the rest is from Urban Outfit. <laughs> and the rest is from Urban Outfitters, which is pretty much, it's not thrifted, but everything looks like it's thrifted there to me. So that's always kind of the look I'm going for. Okay, next question. What is your best feature and what do you like best about you? Greetings from Austria. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Um, I don't know. I would say I don't like, mm, I don't, <laughs> I get so nervous. I don't even want to like talk about my best feature, but um, I guess I would say my eyes. I do think they're a pretty cool color. Whenever I'm doing makeup, it's like the thing I'm like, oh wow. My eyes look really green, so I guess I just like my eye color. I'd say that's my best feature. And what I like best about me, I don't know. I would say I'm a pretty, I have a good head on my shoulders. I'm pretty responsible and I'm, I don't ever do things that are gonna get me in trouble, which is like, I might sound really boring, but <laughs> you know, I just feel like I kind of have my life together for someone my age. I'm 21 and like, I just feel like, you know, I'm a pretty responsible person. So I like that about myself. My question is, what is your favorite makeup look you've ever done? <sighs> My favorite makeup look I've ever done, sadly, is not even 
on my YouTube channel, which is super sad, but I dressed up as a cop for Halloween one year and I wanted to like make it a little bit more cute. So I did this really cool like smoky blue eye. I'll see if I can find a picture and insert it here. That was like my favorite makeup look I've ever done. I loved it so much. I don't even really think I took any pictures of it or anything. I was, I'm so annoyed with myself, but that's my favorite one. Do you read? And if so, what's your favorite type of book to read? I love to read. I usually have a book every summer. This summer I'm taking classes though, so that won't happen. But last summer I read It by Stephen King and that's by far the best, hands down, best book that I have ever read in my entire life. It's like thicker than the Bible. It's so huge. But I was enthralled in it the entire time I read it. I love the movies and now I've just been loving all of his books. That's pretty much all I read. I'm very into like murder mystery and like mayhem, all that fun stuff. So yeah, that's what I like. Hey, what are your best tips for starting a YouTube channel? Also, I love your YouTube channel so much and you inspire my makeup looks every day. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, my best tip for starting a YouTube channel is just to start it. I would be so much further ahead now if I had started mine when I wanted to, but because I didn't have a ring light and because I didn't have soft boxes and I didn't have the world's best camera, it took me like three years to start my channel because I just wanted everything to be perfect, but I look back on people like, I don't know, Chloe Morello and like James Charles, all those people, they just started. If you go look at their first videos, they're bad, like they're not good, but they're way ahead of the game because they started. You know, so I just think that's the most important thing you can do. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can use your iPhone and sit in front of a window during like prime lighting and that is good. You can do that and I would just start. That's my best tip. Would you rather not be able to wear freckles or be able to brush your hair? Um, my hair is like, I didn't brush my hair today and this is what it looks like. It's naturally pinned straight. So I would wear freckles for sure. What are some of your go-to favorite songs? I don't listen to any new music. It's kind of an issue. I'm so out of the loop on pop culture because of that. <laughs> I don't listen to hardly any rap unless I'm like in the car with my boyfriend or like my friends. It's not that I don't like it. I just, whatever, it's not my favorite. And I listen to a ton of older music, a lot of like Jim Cross, basically anything from like the 80s and back. I love like 80s rock and roll and I like really kind of hippie music I would say anything they'd play at Woodstock except the Beatles I don't really like the Beatles but yeah all that kind of stuff I love congratulations what's something you've learned over the past year <gasps> I've learned so much this past year was like a really insane year of growth for me I would say that sounds like such a basic like influencer thing to say but I did I learned a lot I went through like a lot of life changes and a lot of stuff happened to me and I would say the thing I learned the most because I did lose a loved one loved one and I would just say that like I treasure the time that I spend with people a lot more now and I think that's a really important lesson to learn and I'm just so like appreciative of everyone in my life who's healthy and like happy and I'm just I appreciate everyone around me so much so that's what I would say I've learned um congrats on almost 30k thank you what is your favorite makeup look to do natural glam or following a celebrity look okay so this is a hard question on the everyday natural makeup look all the way that's my favorite but for youtube i love creating celebrity looks or like movie looks i want to get into doing more cosplay and kind of like recreating movie stuff those are my favorite videos to do so if you guys like seeing those then definitely leave some comments down below give this video a thumbs up um and just let me know what characters or movies you'd like to see and i will totally do them because i love that um next one what type of camera do you use to film i use a canon rebel t6i and i'm not sure the lens i use but i will have all of the information linked down below and i have like an amazon where i have everything that i use and you can buy it from there so i was wondering what you think about the james charles tati scandal greetings from brazil hello <laughs> I called it. I totally called it. Everyone hated James. I really like James Charles. Sure, he can be kind of like annoying and he talks super fast, but I think he's probably one of like the sweetest, most genuine people on YouTube and I just really like him. And that came out and I was just like, first of all, why is this near 40 year old woman trash talking a 19 year old? I just thought that was like really shocking because I feel like she should be a little more mature than to like make a drama 
video. I don't have any YouTube friends. I stay out of all the drama and I probably will forever. <laughs> but um, I just thought it was really immature and I felt really bad for him. And I was just like, that just doesn't seem like him. And I think that she just wanted to kind of I don't know, I think it was a publicity stunt, and then James came out with his video and pretty much proving his innocence, and sure, like, he maybe, like, didn't handle, like, the boy situation that well, but he's definitely not, like, a rapist or whatever she made him out to be. I think that's absolutely ridiculous, Just, you know, whatever. So, I'm glad that he's back on track and, like, took that break, and I just think that it was super silly, and I hope that he can move past it, and I have never been the biggest fan of Tati. She just seems a little... She's very cold, if that makes sense. Like, all she does is review products, and I just really don't ever feel like there's, like, a personal connection with her. I like people on YouTube who are really genuine and who... I feel like I'm sitting down and having a conversation with and she kind of just <laughs> reminds me a little bit of a robot. I'm always going to speak my truth on this channel, so sorry Tati if you see that. I don't think she will, but whatever. <laughs> uh, congrats girl. Question time. What inspired you to get into fashion? Um, what inspired me was that I wanted to dress like the girls from Friends and that wasn't really in fashion at the time so I had to thrift shop and try to find stuff that was like it because it wasn't in stores and I am tiny. I'm a very tiny person. I don't know if you guys can like tell through the camera but I'm 5'4 and like never weighed 100 pounds in my life. I am stick thin and it's just my metabolism so it's so hard for me to find clothes that fit especially like there's a few select stores where it's just like I can't, like I just can't fit in anything. So I have to learn from a really young age how to alter clothes. So that's what inspired me to get into fashion and sewing. Congrats on almost 30K. Thank you. My question is, did you like freckles when you were younger? I used to hate my freckles as a teenager, but learned to embrace them and lately I've been loving them so much. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Um, I've been obsessed with freckles. <laughs> I've been obsessed with freckles for about as long as I can remember. When I was little, I would mix up a little concoction of brown and orange paint and make like the perfect color and dip my toothbrush in it and flick it across my face to give myself freckles. I do have natural freckles, but um, not so much anymore because I use retinol and that resurfaces my skin and gets rid of any spots that I have. So yeah, that's why I do the fake freckles and <laughs> use my code for fake freckles. <laughs> I'll shame myself promo. Um, question for the giveaway. What are your plans when you finish studying and how long do you have left? I think I already answered the first part of that question, but I have a year left. I will be graduating in next spring. Uh, hey Daisy, so excited for you to reach 30k. You deserve all the recognition. I'm from Canada. Um, unfortunately there's no older here, but I still have a question. Sorry, that sucks. Thank you for asking anyways. What is it like being on YouTube throughout high school and university? And how did you overcome the self-consciousness, if you felt that, of making certain aspects of your life more public? So happy I came across your channel. Congrats again, girl. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, I, uh, yeah, I struggle a lot with that still. That's why you don't see vlogs from me or anything, like, outside. Because I'm so embarrassed to, like, sit down and film, up, film myself outside of my house. I just feel like it's very, I don't know why I have this feeling. And no offense to anybody else who does it. But whenever I do it, I feel so, like, superficial or weird. I just feel weird going outside and... I feel very, uh, I don't know, it's something I'm always concerned about it. Maybe it's because, like, my friends make fun of me for it. They always joke around. But, like, there's a lot of really narcissistic YouTubers, and I don't think of myself as a very narcissistic person. And I feel really narcissistic going outside and doing that because that's just, like, I don't know. I just do. I'm just embarrassed to do it, and I don't like the attention I get. I don't want everyone staring at me while I walk around filming myself. I just don't like it. I guess maybe I'm just shy and... So I'm still getting over that, but I have, I'm pretty comfortable in front of the camera, I'd say, because my mom's been taking pictures of me for as long as I can remember, and um, because she used to work for a scrapbooking company, and I was like her muse, so talking to the camera was really easy for me to get used to, and as far as like, I didn't start my YouTube till after high school, so I didn't have to worry about people making fun of me in class or anything in high school. And in college it's been great, only two people have like come up to me and been like, oh my gosh, I know you from YouTube, and it's through my SCAD video, and it's people that are like at my school, so it's been cool, um, nobody really bothers me about it, I don't get embarrassed if someone mentions it, it's pretty cool, yeah. 
Can you please do the Yu-Gi-Oh! makeup tutorial? This is from my friend Augustine. Um, no. Unless, of course, anybody else wants to see it. Hi Daisy, messaging you for your giveaway for YouTube. I was wondering how you like SCAD. I got accepted and it was my second choice, but sometimes I regret, I regret not going. I've got a love-hate relationship with SCAD. I think it's definitely the good outweighs the bad, but there's some things that I don't like about it. I hate how much the workload is. And it's not because I'm a lazy person, and it's not because I can't handle it. It's just that I find it so hard. I mean, you just get so much work. It's so hard to do anything new with your free time. I just, like, that's why I'm pretty inconsistent with YouTube is because I just, like, I have to get my work done. And I don't have time to do anything else, and it's so annoying. So I wish that I had a little bit more free time. That's probably my biggest issue with SCAD. Hi, I'm Emily. I love your videos, and you are so gorgeous. Thank you. Congratulations on reaching 30k. My questions for your video are how do you become more confident? How do you stay fit? And how do you make friends and not be awkward? <laughs> well, becoming more confident, that's kind of, I know it's annoying. Everybody says it, but it's kind of just a, oh, I'm gonna start over. Becoming more confident, uh, I struggle with it. I went through, like, I was really confident in high school, and then, I don't know what happened, but, like, I guess moving to a new place and not knowing anyone really just blew up, like, just got rid of all my self esteem. <laughs> But um, I hate making new friends. It's so hard for me and I just really don't like it. And <laughs> I struggle with that too. But becoming more confident, it's just kind of like a fake it till you make it thing. What Something that helped me is I saw someone talk about it, but it's almost like I did theater in high school and I was like, someone told me in that class, they were like, if you're having trouble doing anything in life, just pretend that you're acting. Pretend that you're trying out for like a role in a movie or you're, you know, practicing for being a new person. It's the fake it till you make it thing. So like when I came to SCAD, I just like made a persona for myself and started acting like that, like who I wanted to be like, who was someone who's like more outgoing and really friendly. And that's just what I've been working with. And I'd say the more I do that, the more natural it comes to me. And another way that I make myself feel not awkward, I don't know why this helps. I don't know if it's for anybody else, but a really good thing to do to try to make you um, say things more fearlessly is like anytime I see someone, boy or girl, if I like something about them, I say it and I tell them. And because I know like I always feel really special when someone's like, I love your outfit or your hair is so pretty or you know, it's just I like hyping people up because I like being hyped up. So, you know, I'll see someone out and they'll have really pretty nails. Like just anytime you see someone and you're like, instead of thinking in your head, like and letting them pass by, just say it out loud. And that's what helps me become more talkative and outgoing. What was the other question? Oh, how do I stay fit? I don't. <laughs> I'm so out of shape. Uh, I haven't worked out probably the past two semesters unless like you count tennis. I play a little bit of tennis with my friends. But uh, it's getting too hot for that, so I'm not going to be doing that anymore. I just have a very fast metabolism. Congrats on 30k. You've been my go-to for makeup ideas. You look like makeup ideas. You look like you could fit right in with the Archie Comics Riverdale cast. What's your advice on getting a tan this summer? I never seem to be able to absorb the sun, only reflect it. My advice for getting a tan is to always, 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 always wear sunscreen. Um, I just had to get a mole cut off and I'm getting it tested. I hope it's not skin cancer, I doubt it is. I'm very good about using sunscreen, but um, that's the fastest thing that ages you. And I know you want to get tan, because like, I know how it's like to be in high school and like if you come back pale, you feel super lame, because like all the pretty girls come back with their super gorgeous tan. But um, I would just say gradual is better. If you want to get one quickly, I would say just use your sunscreen, but go outside just for a little bit of time every day. The worst thing you can do is like the day before school starts go lay in the sun and just lay out for eight hours That's like you'll just get burned and then you'll peel and then your tan's gonna go away So just try to spend like an hour or two outside every single day and you'll for sure get a tan Love what are some of your other hobbies? I love to cook cooking is like my recent like most favorite hobby. I've been getting really into it I pretty much cook every meal and I'd say that's the thing that takes up the most of my time. If I wasn't in school, I'm always working on like little sewing projects and things like that. That's my hobby. Hey girl, just found your YouTube channel and love it. I was wondering what made you want to start YouTube in the first place. Ugh, what did? 
I can't remember, it was a long time ago. Oh, that's right. I started YouTube because I would braid people's hair before school started almost every single day, like all my friends, and they were like always wondering how to braid. I learned from cute girls' hairstyles. Comment down below if you guys remember that channel. I love it still. But I taught myself how to braid using that channel and um, everyone just like wanted to know how I did my hair and other people's hair. So I just started making videos on that. If you scroll to the bottom, I mean, I literally filmed them vertically. It was, there's awful, they're terrible videos. <laughs> that is why I started. I heart and always watch your makeup and fashion videos, but if you could only wear clothes or makeup from one era, which era would that be? Can I split this up? I would wear clothes from the 90s and makeup from the 70s. Is that cool? <laughs> I don't know. I love the 90s fashion, but the makeup in the 70s is like so pretty and natural and everyone just looks really bronzy and I just really like the makeup from that era. What are my views on afterlife? I would say, I mean, I was raised Christian, I was raised Lutheran, and I definitely believe in God, and I definitely believe there's something out there. There's just, I've had too much proof in my life to, like, think that there's nothing out there. I've just had some weird experiences and things like that. I definitely think that when you lose someone, they're not gone. Um, I think I mentioned earlier that I had, I lost a loved one, and I've just, like, had a few experiences where they've kind of come back to me whether it's through dreams or just through a feeling or anything like that and I just I'm convinced there's something out there but I just I can't say for sure what it is um but I hope it's fun and I hope it's happy yeah that's my views <laughs> uh how many countries have you traveled to none <laughs> The United States, that's it. I don't know. What clique were you in during high school? This is turning out to be such a long video. I hope you guys aren't bored. <laughs> what clique was I in in high school? Uh, I wasn't really in one. My high school was huge. I had a graduating class of almost a thousand kids. I just kind of floated around. I had friends in every clique, especially in senior year. I sat at like a different lunch table every day. I was in technical theater and I was friends with like all the cheerleaders. My school was not very clicky. I mean, sure, like there was people in cliques, but nobody was like me. Everyone was really nice to each other and everyone was friends. So I just kind of hung around. All right. Hey Daisy, I love your YouTube channel and style. My question for you is if you were born in a decade, different, de wow. If you were born in a different decade, what decade would it be? I think I would like to be born in the 70s. I would like to be my mom's age now because she was born in like 74, I think. Sorry, mom, just revealed your age. But uh, yeah, I think it would be so freaking fun to live through the 80s. I like Stranger Things and I love watching all that. I really hate like how much I'm addicted to my phone and how everyone is addicted to their phones. And I would love to grow up in a time where I didn't have a cell phone. And I think it would be so fun. And it just seems like a really fun time to grow up in. Okay. Congratulations. If you could say one thing to your past self, what would it be? I feel like everybody says this, but it's just kind of like, don't worry, everything's gonna turn out okay. Like I was so paranoid and like nervous for going away to college and I was like, oh, I don't know if I wanna move away from like everything I've ever known and I'm so glad I did. I've met so many amazing people and like it turned, it always is gonna turn out okay. And that's just what I would go back and tell myself. Henry Cavill or Josh Duhamel? My past self would say Henry Cavill. I was like so in love with him. I loved him so much. I posted him every Man Crush Monday <laughs> on my Instagram. Um, but now I would say Josh Duhamel. He's a silver fox and I think he's pretty cute. And I think he could do way better than Fergie. No offense, Fergie. Um, could we have the picture of the retinol product you've been using? Well, I don't have it with me. And it's a prescription, and it's a weird prescription because it's a mix of three different products. It's like a steroid. It's basically Accutane, if you guys have ever heard of that, but like topical rather than a pill. And it's got steroids, succinic acid, and like the thing that makes you peel, that makes your skin, the retinol, I guess. So it's a mixture of all three of those things to help with scarring and to prevent new pimples from coming. And I got it from like a pharmacy compound place. So it's just like a very niche thing that I don't even know if you could get. You can certainly ask your um, dermatologist if they can do like a compounding solution, but 
I think I just got really lucky with that one. Um, and another product I use is this one that I've been really liking, Osea Derma. I have a really hard time saying the name, but I'll have this link down below and I've been really liking it. It's been helping me not break out as much too. It's a spot reducer, which I think um, you saw in my last video. I only have one pimple right now and pretty much all my scarring is almost gone. And this is just like, it kind of protects you from pollution, if that makes sense. It's just a bit like a base for your face that just prevents things from getting in your pores. And I've noticed that it's helped me kind of stop getting pimples. So I will have a link to that down below if you guys want to try it out. I think that might've been the last one. Nope, a couple more. Congratulations on reaching 30K. Oh no, I already answered that one. Just kidding. <laughs> that's all all right that was all the questions all right so those are all the questions answered depending on how long this video is after I edit it I might split it into two or I might just make it really long and whoever wants to watch it just is gonna have to like fast forward when I'm boring them <laughs> I've been really trying to make my videos shorter as of lately because my watch time like I think my average for watch time is two minutes so that's like people are leaving like two minutes into my videos, which kind of bums me out. But if you stuck through all the way to the end, I love you so much. And I'm going to try to keep my videos as short as possible. But this one is the one exception because I just had so many questions and I wanted to make sure I answered them all. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also follow my Instagram. I will have it right here on the screen and link down below. And... I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye!